now by Fox NFL analyst Greg Jennings. Let's move to the NFL, where Le'Veon Bell is with a new team, but it looks like he may be the same old guy, not attending the Jets' voluntary practices so far this offseason. His absence has left a lot of fans wondering when he was going to join the team, so Le'Veon responded to one on Instagram and posted his response on Twitter, explaining that he would show up, quote, when it's time to play football. Hmm. I got to stick to the formula that I know works for me to be the best player I can be. I'm, I'm not just trying to win football games. I want to ring. I want to desperately show everybody what I can really do. And stop. I'll take Please. the heat right now. <laughs> everybody will forget about that once January comes around. All right, that's Le'Veon Bell with a long-winded excuse for, man, I ain't, I ain't going to none of these voluntary practices. You holla. That's not me. You heard. That's not what I do. Nope. Uh, I'm really not about winning. I'm about this check, and I got the check that I got, and I'm good. I wish he'd just admit that first. Let's yeah. start there. Like me, <laughs> I'm about the money, man. I respect Greg Jennings in that ring, but you know what? I'll go to Stone and get mine. You know what I'm saying? I can do what I got to do. <laughs> I, I feel like a winner when I check them checks <clears throat> cash. So it's amazing when I see guys try to go off of that and talk about January. You play for the Jets. Ain't no damn January then. <laughs> like, nobody's buying that. But I am with him when he talks about I'll be ready, because he's always ready, respect that. And strength coaches suck. I told you this before, I'm gonna tell you this again. This one size fits all model, where everybody, all 53 come here together, is some former D lineman that just learned how to squat, who's now got a job with the organization. He's not a movement integrated performance specialist with a PhD. He's not one of these guys like a Mike Boyle out there and guys that you go to pay extra money who know how to take care of you. He's not Tom Brady, Alex Guerrero, where they actually know there's a void in the marketplace. So let's teach you a different philosophy how to take care of your body. Why go there and do what everybody else is doing? You're not like everyone else. So I respect that he's still going to get his work in. Yeah, for me, it's not a red flag for the Jets, simply because you got to know your personnel. When you bring in Adam Gase, you know what he is about. He's a quarterback guy, but he's also a player's guy who understands what he has when he brings in and they bring in a Le'Veon Bell. Is it a bad look? Yes, it's a bad look because you want your young guys to see a guy that just comes in and just does his work. But what Le'Veon Bell has always done it has worked for him. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Don't give me he's been out a year. Except when he's suspended. It doesn't work. You're right. But but his, his work ethic has proven to translate to the football field. And so for him to miss, it's not a bad look or a red flag for the Jets. However, I think it would be best for the guys around him to see how he works. It's worked with the Steelers. This is a brand new team. You are coming in as one, is the, one of the highest play. You're not just a guy. You are the guy. You're not a third wide receiver. You're not a nickel corner. You're supposed to be the guy that elevates this team and elevates a very young quarterback with a brand new head coach. Whether he's in the weight room or not, the idea that not being there, not being present, not developing a camaraderie, you skipped out on your last team and turned off your offensive lineman. Now you're showing up and you're pay making big dynamic. money with a new team and you're not showing up and saying, hey, I'll be ready because this works for me. Those were the three most important words that he said. This works for me. Well, the Jets... If you're talking about rings, it's not what works just for you. It's what works for us. Well, and let's talk about rings. Tom Brady's missed four and counting of these same OTAs, voluntary workouts. And we're going to say, well, he has the rings now. But guess what? It's a new team every single year. There's no such thing as repeating because there's not the same roster. Ain't Tom Brady. Stop. And he's not Tom Brady, right. Stop. So let's not talk about motivation and how young players need to learn from him. The motivation game is assured by the NFL by non-guaranteed contracts. Trust me, brother, I don't need to see how Jason Whitlock works because I got to get all of mine because there's no guarantee I'll even be here or there will be a pot of gold at the end of this road. For I, me, for me, it, it really isn't about the, the red flag being for the Jets. Again, I don't, I don't have a problem with him not being there. The problem that I do have with it is the role that he's going to take on with this team as far as leadership. Thank them you. Them just looking at him as a leader. How he approaches that is going to be 
to his own discretion. Now, he puts in work, and Marcellus, you notice, it doesn't matter what you do, what you've done. The, the statement that he said, he said, I'll take the heat right now. Mm -hmm. He said, but everybody will forget about that once January comes. As long as he does that? Yeah, you know that. We don't care about nothing you're doing. Well, listen, I think one thing we have to recognize, and again, this is a point on Le'Veon's side. The athletes, because of Charles Barkley, became comfortable saying, I'm not a role model. A lot of athletes want no parts of leadership. That, that's something we place on them. And it's something I organizations yeah. place yeah, on yeah, them. Yeah. And Le'Veon Bell is a guy, he don't want to lead. There's a lot of human beings like that. Want, they want to follow, they want to tag along, they want to be caught up in your backdraft or tailwind, they, they want to ride your coattails, they want to do all, they all want to check. But in terms of leadership, he wants no parts of that. And so if it's a red flag to me if the Jets foolishly thought, hey, man, we're going to cut you a check. Pittsburgh wouldn't give you what you wanted. No one else in the league really was going to give you what you want. And if they thought cutting him that check was going to make him want to be a leader, he does not well, want any part. There are different ways to lead. Can you lead by example? Can you lead by example from afar? Here's the thing. When, when training camp starts, you're going to realize, I don't give a damn what I've been doing. Whatever he's been doing has been better for him. And now I need to catch up to that. So did you want a leader that's going to give you the apple every single day and be in your office and be in the facilities? Or do you want a guy who's just going to show up when it matters most? Oh, let's say this about Le'Veon Bell. Let's, he's, he's just not a leader in any regard, in any way. <laughs> right. He's not. He's been suspended twice. No, but he's, he's set out all of you last year. Yeah, you can't say he's yeah. not a leader in any regard because because what he produces Leads on the, the football league. field, <laughs> it, 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 it has guys Personally. following what he's trying to do. Period. Well, the Look, league in you his can't performance. get into the league without a lot of talent. You can't even get into a trial with a lot of talent. A lot of guys in the league can perform. Not to that level. No, no, yeah, not, don't, I, I don't yeah, want to. And, and no. you don't roll James out of bed and become can't, late. Yeah, absolutely not. Did James Conner just come in and basically do, put up... No, Almost you, identical. Uh, uh, no, in the first four games, yeah. And then what had happened was injuries, <laughs> and damn, they are focusing in on me. So, no, you're not Le'Veon Bell, but I hear you. I just, I just don't think he wants any part of leadership. I hope the, the Jets didn't think they were signing the leader. They signed a guy that's going to show up and play, and that's it. I get leader, and I'm not expecting leader, but I am expecting you to be a part of. And you are one of the most unique running. Can we say this? His style of running is as unique as anybody in something the league. Something offensive line would have to get used to. That is something. You want that familiarity. You have Sam Darnold, who played with no running game. Now you have a guy who is a wide receiver as much as a running back. I'd like to just see, like, we're in, hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm not here just for the check. I'm here to make us all better. And it doesn't have to be, uh, some of it has to be on the field, but it also has to be just a feeling with this young group that I'm going to be more, I'm, again, I'm not looking for leadership. I'm just looking, be part of. And he's basically said, hey, look, when it starts, I'll be ready. Coming what up. You guys do your thing. Mm. A bunch of athletes showed up to the Met Gala in some ridiculous outfits. We get into that in the best of worst of social media. Next. Oh, you go Gala, not Gala, huh? <laughs> Introducing the first of its kind Lexus UX and UX F Sport. Also available in hybrid all-wheel drive. This is the 2019.